Hi guys, this is Gallifrey Customs and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at a set that I've been really excited to come out. Um, there's been a few hints and teases over the past few months that uh, the tooling had been found for this and that potentially we would see a re-release soon. Um, I know it's been really heavily demanded because um, it was an exclusive set that this came in originally and it was really, it was quite limited edition then. So now they're impossible to find. Um, but yeah, this set is the Emperor Dalek, uh, Emperor Davros collector figure, sorry. Uh, from the Seventh Doctor era, it features the Emperor Davros and it's the 5.5 14 centimeter scale collector series. Um, it says at the top of the package in Remembrance of the Daleks 1988. Uh, it's got the gold limited edition foil sticker on the side. And otherwise the packaging is basic. It's, it's really cute actually the packaging, like when you compare it to the others. So for example, and I won't be able to fit them both in, but you can just get a gist, roughly. So it's a really tiny box compared to the Resurrection one. And I think it, it is quite cute, it's absolutely tiny. Um, it's unusual seeing a box like this because when it comes to B&M, you're so used to the very standard style, three packs, TARDIS packs and Dalek sets. Um, so it's a bit different to see something different, but I think it's really, really nice. Um, so taking a look at the side, it's got Emperor Davros, Connector Figure, Seventh Doctor. And then taking a look at the back and you can pause that and have a read if you like. And then the other side, there we go. But yeah, uh, I am really excited to get this open, to be fair, so I'm just going to open it, I think. So I was about to cut just straight to getting the figure out of the box entirely. But uh, one thing I just thought was important to point out is this gorgeous uh, interior deco card, um, which is the spaceship from Remembrance of the Dalek. Um, Remembrance of the Daleks, yeah, always get confused between them all. Um, and it's really, really nice. The one thing that's such a huge shame is that obviously Davros is stuck to the back. It's in a blister clam that's glued to the back of the box. So when I take this out, it's just gonna completely ruin the diorama at the back so it's such a shame I do I do really wish that they would scrap this do uh kind of their they used to use wire now they use like a um it's almost like card but like rolled up and have that so that it's tied to the back of the box and then have a window at the front, a clear plastic window using this sort of plastic, because um, it would just allow for just such beautiful looking packaging um, for collectors. Um, I just think it would really elevate the appearance of this set out uh, in box. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me because I'm about to take it out, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's get it out. So here it is out of packaging and oh my god, it's the most absolutely gorgeous figure like in a long time. It's absolutely stunning. The improvements to this are so good. There are a few negatives which I'll also go into, but for the most part, it's absolutely stunning. Um, so that this is it with the dome closed. Obviously, as you, as the previous version, it opens up like that. Um, but I'll close it back down for the sake of the comparison at first because bringing in the old version, which it's so funny putting the two together because 
the old one looks so yellow compared to the uh, new one um, but the the, the colour is just insanely better the silver looks better uh, sorry the gold looks better even um, and I found it really interesting that at the front of this one it's got a black edge around it and then this one has silver uh, gold I keep saying silver um, it has a gold edge around it and I, it looks absolutely beautiful um, just improves the aesthetic of it so much more um, and it's 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 an interesting set really because it's um designed whereas a lot of the well all of the daleks are made in two parts that well two core parts that are then stuck together and it's split down the middle and you'll notice for example on the resurrection supreme it's got a split down there with these they are rotorcast which is essentially a big machine that the plastic goes into um, and it spins in all different directions until eventually it forms um, an, a complete uh, model. Um, so it's actually in a very soft plastic and you can feel it's really soft. But uh, it's an interesting way of doing it and it really does work. It looks super clean, super smooth. Um, it's in that gorgeous white that's slightly, slightly cream in colour, but it just looks really, really gorgeous. Um, so when it's opened up, we can compare the two Davroses inside. Um, this is where there's a few negatives and a few positives, really. Um, so I think the paint app on the face of the new Davros is just completely uncomparable. It's way better. Uh, looking at reference pictures of um, Davros in that episode, that sort of more yellowy tone is a lot more authentic to how Davros looked then. Um, I think the red tubing, because it's been done in a red plastic, um, it looks like actual tubing, whereas before it did look very obviously painted. Um, and the head dress thing, the sort of, I don't really know what to call it, to be honest with you, but the uh, wire, wire frame around his head, um, it's a lot more of a brighter silver and it just looks a lot nicer. Now I've picked up the camera for this bit. So the one negative about these is the wiring over his body. So on the previous version, um, you can see it's got loads and loads of different colors. It's got, uh, let's turn it around so you can see, come on. So it's got green, blue, white, yellow, red, loads of different and then it's got obviously the black underneath whereas on the new one it's got gray yellow blue and red and it 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 does look very lacking um in the wiring especially when you look at him in the episode and he's literally you cannot see his body because he's got so many wires wrapped around him um so i don't know i feel like they could have gone into like i would have happily had this at a slightly higher price point um to then add extra colors in there um and i'm sure there's reasons for it i'm sure if al Dua does see this video i mean please feel free to explain like i mean you don't have to explain the reasons but just like from an out of interest perspective on uh if, if it is it something that's so costly that that it was not worth doing and to be fair i mean it's such a minute detail the wiring because they're such small little thin wires that i suppose it is a fairly conscious decision to take some of the wires out and just strip it down and do the basic prominent colors that stand out kind of like how on the 14th doctor figure you don't have every single detail of every single pattern on it just because the detail is so small 
that actually it's not really noticeable on a figure and you can't really go that far into detail with it. Um, I'd be really interested to know anyway, but um, it doesn't really take too much away from the figure. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's far more improved than the first version of it. I think the gold is way nicer. I think the white is way nicer and it just looks really clean and polished. Um, so yeah, really, really fantastic. So that's it for this video. Um, please tell me what you think of the set, if you like it. Um, I, I want to hear from you. Uh, what would you like to see me do next? You know, I've done all my figure showcases, my custom showcases for the new season customs I've done, but um, I, I'm open to suggestions of what to do next with my channel. Always looking to grow and improve. Um, Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment for more. And we're in September and I'm aware that there are some things that are due quite soon. Some other things, uh, some very exciting other things. So I'm sure I'll be seeing you all very, very, very soon. <laughs>